How are you? Good, how are you? Thank you for having us here in this beautiful uh, winery here in California and uh, with the new 2017 E-Class, the most intelligent car in the world right now, huh? Yeah, thanks for joining us. Beautiful day for a drive. No, absolutely. And this has been a very interesting trip because we started actually at your R&D center here in Silicon Valley where some of the features that are in this car were developed and actually the future is being developed right now as we speak, right? Yep. And that's that's something we are very happy to have in Silicon Valley at the pulse of new technology development, uh, a team of, of our own engineers who work with many other companies and, and take a look, what's the technology of tomorrow? I know. Yeah. And this car, I mean, the S-Class, which debuted two years, two and a half years ago, more or less, uh, was already so advanced. I mean, in my opinion, that car was about, in certain circumstances, about 50, 60% autonomous driven. Yeah. This one is even further down and it's only two and a half years. So that's like really speaks volumes about how things are happening in the industry and with Mercedes-Benz in particular. Yeah, the pace when it comes to development of technological features, of sensors, radars, it is just unbelievable. And our cars have all the sensors, they have the radar forward, backwards, sideways, everywhere. So the question for the engineer is, what do I do with all that information? What yeah. kind of other applications can I add to it? And since we have the sensors, it's really just talking about using the data and using software. Yeah, and, and using uh, and putting features into the car that are really practical for consumers because that's the ultimate goal, right? I mean, you can put as much engineer as some people say over-engineer things, but if people wouldn't use them, that wouldn't be uh, any, any good for anybody. Yeah, exactly. That's the most important thing for us. Features either that customer actively use or features that protect you Prepare in case turn. of an right. accident. The technology in this car, like GPS, that's kind of the normal thing now, but this car has things that make him, I mean, while you call it intelligent, it's for a reason. I mean, this car really almost thinks and prevents things from happening. Yeah, and it's, it's one application just to mention one. If a pedestrian were to jump in front of the car and you do the evasive maneuver, you know, steering left and then right again, the car senses that and immediately supports it. It knows it, it sees, you know, the pedestrian, it sees what you're doing and it steers left and right, engages, you know, uh, auto control systems and so on throughout to make sure that it's a safe drive that you avoid actually the obstacle that you avoid the pedestrian in our example and then get safely back to your lane again. And all this technology that is put into this E-Class, it's also for a reason. This is a very important car for Mercedes-Benz, right? Yeah, I mean, the E-Class, that's really at the heart of our line, uh, of our lineup. That's uh, from a profitability perspective for the company, but as well as for an image perspective uh, for Mercedes, that's a core, core Mercedes strength. And uh, it's the most important launch for us, you know, in the United States this whole year. More important than any other car that we bring to the road is that we get this here right. Oh, really? Even more than the C-Class? But I would think that's more more volume uh, in that category, no? Yeah, I mean, C-Class is, is, is close in importance. I would still think, you know, the E-Class is the heart of Mercedes, E-Class and S-Class. And these are the two cars. If you talk about Mercedes, which cars come to your mind, it is S-Class and E-Class. Yeah. That's what most customers say. And this is where really our most focus is on. And also, I mean, people have to talk about the SUVs. The SUVs business has been great, and now you build them here in the U.S. Yeah. And that part of the of, of, of the lineup, it's also really important for for Mercedes Benz. Yeah, I mean, we are in the in the luxury position that our lineup, you know, throughout all the models is absolutely fantastic. Since you mentioned the SUVs, our oldest SUV right now is the GLA that is 18 months old. Wow. Right. And on top of that, we have a new GLC. We're gonna get a GLC coupe. Towards the end of the year, the GLE was launched last summer. We're going to get, or we have the GLE Coupe already out since the fall. We just launched the GLS, and I, I wasn't correct. We do have an older car. That's the G Wagon. But oh, their customer wow. feedback is, don't change the things. Right? <laughs> I know, that's We're like doing a well legendary with. old car that like yeah. modernized version, but like, yeah, people love it. Yeah. And, and I see them all over the place. I live in Miami. I see them there. You probably would never use all the 
like 10% of the capabilities for people over there. <laughs> yeah, and I'm from Austria. This is where the G Wagon, yeah. you know, is made. So I always jokingly say it's the most important car in our lineup. Uh, <laughs> Obviously. I just absolutely love it. G Wagon is awesome. It's so, Dieter, awesome. you just came to this job. I mean, we can still call you the new CEO for Mercedes Benz <laughs> USA, right? You're still on the guarantee. <laughs> That's true. I took over as of January 1st. Uh, and uh, 2016 officially for Mercedes is the year of the dream car. Yeah. So we bring S cab, you know, C cab, a bunch of other coupes and cabs throughout. And it's perfect, you know, model for me, year of the dream car. For me, it's the year of the dream job, you know. Absolutely. I, I got, I think, probably the best job in the whole industry. Yeah, uh, one of the most important uh, markets for Mercedes Benz, obviously, yeah. around the world. And actually, what we were talking before, I mean, what we've seen in the automotive industry, like all the, the, the advances that are happening and happening so fast, we can say that you are the best job in the world at the best time of, uh, in history, probably, right? Yeah, I mean, Mercedes is in the midst of the biggest product offensive. Um, we talked here of the dream car, we talked uh, SUVs, we bring a new E-Class, you know, in the middle of, of all of that. We bring new sports cars with the GT series. So we are really in a great uh, uh, part of our history with more new models than anybody else. And it's just fun. Uh, new cars, new models have always been the lifeblood of our industry. Yeah. And, and that's what makes it exciting. So yesterday at the, at the, at the uh, center, we talk a lot about autonomous driving and where the industry is going with that. And Mercedes-Benz is always actually very advanced with that. We've seen prototypes, working prototypes that are really, really advanced. And there's also the question that some people ask, like, I mean, Mercedes-Benz builds fantastic driving cars. Yeah. Are we, are we going to get into a point where that's not going to happen? It, I mean, there's conveniences, obviously, for autonomous driving, but people are still want to drive. What's your opinion on what's going to happen in the next 10 years, let's say? Uh, I think it's both. I think you will find a lot of people who want to drive sometimes and sometimes be driven by their car. And, you know, just to give you an example, if you're in rush hour, you know, and, yeah. and it's, it's bumper to bumper and, you know, it's going to take 40 minutes, you know, for the next two miles it's not that much fun to drive yourself. Maybe there you want to have the car uh, take over driving you and you go on the internet or you talk to friends or do whatever you want to do and use the time productive, uh, productively. Now, totally different ball game. On the other hand, if it is a Saturday morning, nobody's out, you're going to a golf course or visiting friends, you're getting out of your subdivision as I sometimes do, you know, the first left turn, you hit the gas a little too much, you know, the rear comes yeah. over just a little bit. Then it's fun. This is what's exciting. I don't think people want to give that portion, that portion of, of driving up. Heavy traffic, I think a lot of a lot of customers would be glad to do yeah. that. Yeah, and I don't know if you plan it or not, but yesterday we went through some of that and worked out really well. The traffic was really heavy, and we, with the new Distronic Plus yeah. and like all the feature in this yeah. car, again, it's not autonomous driving, but it's pretty much getting there, so it's very exciting. Yeah, and I mean, think for what we did here on the, on the test drive is trying out the new features, giving you a feel about them and how they work. There, the heavy traffic actually worked in our favor. Yeah. yeah. And you could try that. How did it work for you? No, it was excellent. And, and sometimes you have to get used to it and really trust it, trust the system and knowing that it's going to do what it's supposed to do. And it actually does it. Yeah. So, but it's, it's, it's a learning process, I think, for some people, because this is very advanced technology and some people maybe are not used to it, but it was a great example. So uh, yeah. thank you for letting us experience yeah. that. So a while ago, we, with the new C-Class, we introduced that technology. If you were to drive straight towards a wall, yeah. you know, kind of, and, and missed it because you wouldn't pay attention or something, the car would stop by itself. Yeah. You know how hard that was to test? How many you know, cars you crushed? No, you, <laughs> you want to go through the wall, and you're supposed to drive 40 miles straight at yeah. the wall. Don't hit the gas, don't hit the brakes, because then the car thinks the driver's taking over. Oh, right? okay. So you're sitting there, drive 40 miles, and the wall is coming, and just trust the car. I know. That was it, incredibly hard to do, but uh, we managed it. And, and it, uh, after a while, after we hit some of the crash dummies <laughs> actually yeah. in front of it, and the car stops. Yeah, and the car stops. I hope we never need the feature. But it's good to know it's available there and prevents accidents. Yeah, there's actually a, a lot of, of those kind of things in this car that we'll hopefully we'll never use, but we know they're here. Yeah. And and it's fantastic. So I mean, we don't. I'm not gonna give justice to everything that is in the car. It's a very short drive that we have here. 
But thank you very much for the time. Congratulations on thank being you. here. And uh, I guess we can still say welcome, right? Yeah. Thank you. And thanks for joining us. And thanks for being on the test drive. Yeah? Thank you. Really appreciate your time coming out here and being with us. Yeah.